Aum Sum was standing beside a calm riverside early one morning, watching gentle ripples move across the water. As he dipped his fingers into the river, something unusual happened. The water around his hand suddenly turned solid and clear. Thin ice spread outward in smooth patterns, shining in the sunlight. <laughs> Miraculously, Aum Sum had gained the power to freeze water. Excitement filled him immediately. He touched the surface again, creating a small frozen circle that floated gently. He placed his foot on it. <laughs> Smiling, he froze another patch and stepped forward. <laughs> then another, slowly forming a short icy path across the water. Suddenly, dark clouds gathered quickly and heavy rain began pouring down. Huh? The river level started rising fast. Farther ahead, loud shouts echoed. A small bus trying to cross a low bridge had stalled when rushing water flooded the bridge. The fast-moving water surrounded the bus, pushing against its wheels. Passengers huh? inside were stuck, unable to step out safely as the water continued to rise. Amsum noticed the danger immediately. Without hesitation, he ran toward the flooded bridge. The water was moving too fast for people to walk huh? through, and huh? rescue teams could not reach the bus easily. Amsum stood at the edge of the flood and focused deeply. As he stretched his hands forward, the rushing water began to freeze. Ice spread quickly across the surface, slowing the powerful current. Aum Sum froze the water step by step, creating a solid icy path toward the bridge. One by one, the passengers were able to step onto the frozen surface and move safely away. The passengers cheered loudly for their hero Aum Sum. Hmm. Aum Sum woke up to a bright morning, ready for another fun day of exploring. But the moment he stepped onto the street, huh? something felt strange. The road beneath his feet wobbled like jelly. Before he could take another step, his sneakers began sinking. Huh? The entire road had turned into quicksand. The more he tried, faster huh? he sank. Acting fast, he grabbed a long stick from a nearby garden and used it to pull himself onto the grass. Breathing hard, he looked around and saw that every road, street, and path had turned into endless rivers of quicksand. Aum Sum spotted an old skateboard in his garage and tied empty plastic bottles to the bottom <laughs> to create a floating board. With a push, he began gliding over the dangerous roads. He wobbled and nearly fell in several times, his heart racing as he zigzagged between streetlights and mailboxes. As he traveled, Aum Sum noticed the city had turned into a maze. Cars were half sunk and people were trapped on rooftops or climbing trees for safety. Amsum knew he had to help. He remembered the toy shop downtown had inflatable rafts. Carefully steering his floating skateboard, he made his way toward the shop. A sudden breeze sent him crashing into a lamppost, and he clung to it as the board floated away. Thinking quickly, he swung himself onto a parked bus that was barely above the quicksand. From there, he leapt onto a delivery truck and finally reached the toy shop. Inside, he grabbed as many inflatable rafts as he could carry and threw them out to people nearby. One by one, they paddled to safety, cheering for Aumsum's clever thinking. Hmm. One bright morning, while munching on a crunchy toast topped with chocolate spread, a strange thought zipped into Aumsum's mind. What if we couldn't stop eating? Without warning, the idea became real. As soon as he finished one bite, his hands reached for the next. Pancakes, noodles, popcorn, bananas, cupcakes. Om Sum gobbled them all like a never-ending conveyor belt. His kitchen table turned into a mountain of wrappers, empty bowls, and crumb trails. Even before he could blink, he was chewing something else. He waddled to the fridge for a glass of water, but instead found himself finishing off a large tub of ice cream. He didn't even like mint flavor, but his mouth just wouldn't quit. The more he ate, the more his stomach stretched like a balloon full of pudding. Still, it growled for more. His eyes looked worried, but his hands kept scooping and shoveling. Soon, his house started to run out of food. Cupboards were empty, cookie jars stood hollow, and the fridge gave him a cold stare. But Amsum wasn't done. 
With his belly rumbling louder than thunder, he zipped out the door and followed his nose to the neighborhood bakery. <laughs> Breads disappeared, donuts vanished, pies were swallowed whole. The baker fainted from shock. The effects began to show. <laughs> um Sum's energy didn't go up, it crashed. He felt sleepy, sluggish, and so stuffed he couldn't bend to tie his shoes. His clothes stretched huh? to their limits. Worst of all, his taste buds stopped enjoying food. Every bite started tasting the same. Bland, boring, and heavy. With no food left to eat, Aumsum sat under a tree and stared at a leaf. Thankfully, just before he decided to chew on that, the strange spell broke. Huh? His hands stopped moving, his belly sighed, and his <laughs> mouth finally rested. Hmm. Aumsum had a wild imagination. And today, his imagination had taken him all the way to the moon. Floating inside his spacesuit, Aum Sum looked around. Everything was quiet, too quiet. No birds chirping, no cars honking, not even a breeze. He bounced gently with every step. That's because the moon's gravity was only one-sixth of Earth's. Aum Sum felt like a superhero. He could take huge leaps without much effort. One small hop sent him soaring several meters into the air. The moon was covered in powdery dust and sharp rocks, and Amsum had to be careful not to trip. Time huh? moved differently here. One day on the moon lasted as long as 29 Earth days. That meant weeks of blazing sunlight followed by weeks of freezing darkness. Amsum was glad he had his special spacesuit, which kept his body warm or cool depending on the temperature. But even with the suit, he knew life on the moon wasn't easy. There was no air to breathe, no water to drink, and no plants or animals to keep him company. Everything had to be brought from Earth, or created inside special machines. As he looked up, the Earth stared back at him, a blue and green ball hanging motionless in the sky. Unlike the moon, Earth had clouds, oceans, forests, and life. It looked warm and alive. Here, the sky was always black, even when the sun was shining. He explored the moon's surface, hopping from crater to crater. Omsum loved the way the dust puffed up around his boots and then quickly settled. There was no wind to blow it away, so his footprints might stay there for hundreds or even thousands of years. Omsum imagined people living here someday building homes inside giant bubbles, growing food in space gardens, and using solar panels to power everything. Hmm.